Welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna to do another meal prep recipe and this one is a classic. We're gonna go with a nice cottage pie today. Really nice and simple, but this is an awesome one to cook up, get ahead and make sure you've got meals for the next few days. I'm gonna cook this up quickly now and get them into some Lavelli Fresh vacuum canisters. This is enough for five good sized individual portions. So first up, we're gonna get going on a really nice and simple mashed potato. I've got 1.3 kilos of mashing potatoes over here. I'm just gonna peel those, wash them, chop them up, and get them into a pot with some cold water. Bring that to the boil and cook them until they're nice and soft. My potatoes are on the boil now, and while they're cooking, I'm gonna get going on the meat part of this dish. First, I'm gonna start by dicing a brown onion. Finally, dice one brown onion as well as two carrots and two stalks of celery. Heat some olive oil in a large pan over medium heat and then cook the onions for a couple of minutes until soft. Add the carrots and celery and three cloves of minced garlic and cook for a few minutes until they begin to soften. Add one kilo of good quality minced beef, break it up and cook it until it's all nicely browned. Add a quarter of a cup of plain flour and stir it through. Then add a third of a cup of tomato paste, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, three sprigs of fresh thyme or one teaspoon of dried thyme, and a sprig of fresh rosemary or half a teaspoon of dried rosemary. Season the meat generously with salt and pepper. Add two cups of beef stock, two dried bay leaves. Let this simmer for around half an hour, stirring occasionally until it reduces and thickens. You don't want excess liquid. When the potatoes are really soft and tender, strain them through a colander and let them sit in the colander for around 10 minutes to let some of the steam come off. Then you can return the potatoes to the same pot that you cooked them in. Add three to four tablespoons of butter, half a cup of milk, and half a teaspoon of salt. Mash it all up until smooth, give it a taste, and add more salt or butter to your liking. So I've got my meat done and my mashed potatoes and now it's just a matter of portioning these out and packing them away. Start by spooning the meat evenly into each canister. Then top with mashed potato. So I've got the meat and potatoes all portioned out and the last thing is just to sprinkle over some Parmesan cheese. At this stage, you can choose to bake them now or you can get them straight into the fridge or freezer and you can bake them when you're ready to eat them. To bake them, put them in the oven at 180 degrees for around half an hour or until the tops are nice and golden. So these are out of the oven now, looking golden and crispy and really delicious. All we need to do now is get these lids on. We'll use the vacuum pump to seal in that freshness and we'll pop them in the fridge. These will also keep in the freezer for up to three months. So there's another great recipe for you to do to get ahead of your week and have some meals ready to go. It's a simple one, but it's a good one. And we hope you liked this video today. If you did, then give it a like for us. And if you haven't already, then hit subscribe to see more of our Lavelli Life recipes. Let us know what you think of this one in the comments section below, and we'll catch you again really soon with another fresh recipe.